Let's take a look at relative frequency, and we'll do it a couple different ways. We'll do it off of data in our program. We'll do it off of data from the CSV file. Okay. Um, so first thing, uh, create a new script, file new script. Now go ahead and save that. Relative frequency. Okay, so if I have, um, let's see, D1, data set 1, you can call that whatever you want, um, within reason. You, know, you can't have spaces in it, can't start with a number, I don't think. Okay, and I'll put in some, some numbers here, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 3, 4, 5, 3, 3, uh, 4, 1, 1. Uh, five. Okay. Now, um, if I do table D1, and I run that, that gives us our frequency. Well, what we want is our relative frequency. So, Uh, if I say, um, that's my frequency. And then print frequency, make sure that's working. The thing about uh, writing little short bits of code is uh, test as you go along. So you know it's working down to that point. And then um, I want to take each frequency divided by the sum of the frequencies. Because that's how your relative frequency works. You take, um, uh, add your frequencies together. So um, eight. I really got that many numbers. I guess I do. Uh, eight plus two is ten. Plus three is thirteen. Fifteen, seventeen. So I take each frequency divided by seventeen. So eight divided by seventeen. Two divided by seventeen. Three divided by seventeen. Two divided by seventeen. And two divided by seventeen. Taking this, uh, this row right here. So, if I do frequency divided by the sum of the frequencies. Now run that. This would give you your relative frequency. Now, if you wanted that in percent form, one way is to just do a times 100 here. Actually, let me uh, put that as separate since so I'm going to paste this code in. Uh, so frequency divided by sum of the frequency times 100. Okay. Do an edit, run all. Then you see uh, it's more of our percent type. Now, I don't know how you put a percent on there. Um, I'm not, I'm not the master or R programmer. <laughs> I can, uh, I can do uh, some basics in it, but, uh, definitely not, uh, really complicated items. Okay. Now let's look at it coming from a table. Okay. So I'm going to start a new file and I won't put separate columns in here. I'll just say numbers and, uh, um, I guess I could put the same numbers. One, one, two, one, two, one, 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 three, four, five, three, three, four, one, one. I'm not sure what the last ones are there. Five. Assuming I didn't miss any numbers. Now do a file save. Change this to all files. And I'll call this one test. 5.csv and click save okay so over to here d2 or bring in uh, read.csv um, test5.csv also need to come up here and set my working directory c colon slash slash work that's a folder I have on my computer now, after I brought these in, then um, I can reuse frequency, by the way. Equals table D2. 
I'll print frequency and then I'll do frequency divided by sum of the frequency. And then I'll show frequency divided by sum of the frequency times 100. Now I'll run that. And assuming I put the same numbers in, uh, I see that it gives me the same result. Now the question I have, and I don't know the answer to this myself, so we're going to play a little bit here is um, what if I do a data frame uh, let's see frequency is equal to data dot frame table of d2 and let's print frequency and run that okay so that's what I would expect um, So now, if I do frequency divided by the sum of the frequency, the question is, will this be in um, vertical or horizontal format? If I do an edit run all, <laughs> it won't be either. It'll be an error. Um, only to find a day frame with all numeric values. Well, that makes me wonder if I could do data dot frame table d d two. Okay, wait a minute. Table d two is where that comes from. Ah. Okay, frequency is table D2. And then data frame. I'm going to have um, frequency divided by sum of the frequency. Again, don't know if this will work. We're just playing. No. Huh. Well, helps if I spell. There we go. Edit, run all. That's not what I wanted. I wanted them in the um, vertical format instead of uh, horizontally, listed horizontally. Um, oh, well. I'll get rid of that. But that's how you can uh, get the relative frequency, uh, whether in decimal form or percent form, from data within your program or from a CSV file that you import.